All right, how you guys doing? It's D.Y. back real quick. Um, just quick talk about self-confidence and how confidence is going to get you through this lock journey. How self-confidence is going to carry you from having locks this long all the way down to here or longer. Self-confidence is, you know, how you feel about yourself. It's you telling yourself, hey, you know what, I'm beautiful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear my hair how I want to wear it, and I'm still going to be the same me. I'm still going to look good. I'm still going to go out here. and If you're a male, go out there, hey, I'm going to go get these women. Or if, if you're a woman and you're out there like, hey, you know what, guys are still going to come talk to me because I have, I have these locks. It doesn't really matter. I'm still beautiful in my eyes. You have to find the beauty in it yourself before you can expect the outside world to find beauty in it because most of us know how they feel about locks, you know. All of us have had that comment said to us that kind of makes you step back and think, like, did somebody just say that to me? Is it true? Do I really look like this or are they really that bad? But you know what? It's going to be you, self-confidence, that's going to get you through because a lot of people, they aren't going to find the beauty in locks, especially if you have short locks. Nobody, nope, like, hardly anybody likes that, like, unless, unless you are, um, it depends on where you live, you know, like, I live out here in Southern California, there aren't a lot of people out here that's going to, that find joy in my hair besides the few other people I see who have locks themselves, so, like, you know, growing up or growing my locks out, having these short locks until now, they're still short, but you know, to the point that they're at now, I've had people tell me, cut, cut your hair. When I had my afro, people were saying, cut your hair, go back to the waves, go back to that short, that short, clean cut hairstyle. And I'm like, no, I love it. People don't like going too long without a retwist because of all the frizzies you get, all this new growth. And you know what? I say embrace it. I say love it. You know why? Because this is your hair. That's the stage your hair goes through. It's gonna it's gonna grow out. You're gonna have this this new growth. So why be embarrassed and ashamed about it and keep running to get your hair retwisted too soon because you're afraid of what people might think or what people might say. So you need to find the beauty in your hair or in you and just how you look, your overall appearance. Whether it's not even just hair, whether it's your clothes, whether it's um your profession, no matter what you do, if you if you're proud of it, then other people will be other people will be more most likely to fall in line with you. To be like, hey, you know what? Hey, you know, he loves his hair, she loves her hair. It does look nice. Oh, oh, instead of people saying, or like, I get this all the time. Oh, your hair looks so nice when you pull it back or when you braid it. You should you should do that again. I don't I braid my hair so my retwists last longer. If my retwist, if I would have swept my retwist out every time I go to the gym, I'd wear it down. Because you see all this? I mean, yeah, the styles look nice. I'm not gonna lie, they look nice. Sometimes I do do it because I want a style. But for the most part, it's so I don't sweat on my retwist, you know. And I find joy in how my hair looks just down, out, down, wow, wow, looking all, with all the frizzies, the new growth. I don't care. I love it. Most people look at it and go, eh, why? Why why locks? Why dreadlocks? Why not? Why not dreadlocks? Why not rock my hair like this? Why not let it twist up and be matted or like it was cool and then there's things that you can do with these that people can't do with other hair. Like it's just and people go, Oh, you should just comb those out and and get it braided and wait till it gets longer. No. Or you should or like my hair was short, they should oh you should just you should just cut it off or mm, I don't like it. I have my afro. People were like, go back to the waves. I have the, the short locks. People didn't like it. People were like, oh, before they lock, comb it back out and let it grow longer. No, I love it. I like it. It's part of me. It's part of the journey. You know? So you need to find confidence in yourself so that you can make it through this journey, so you can make it through life. Uh, there's a famous quote from Marcus Garvey. It goes like this. With, Without self-confidence, you are twice defeated in the race of life. But with it, you've won. You've already won before you begun. So self confidence is key. Self confidence can, can make or break you, especially in this journey right here. If you don't, if you don't find beauty in in what you're in what you're doing and how you look, 
no male's gonna find no male's gonna find beauty in it either. No male's gonna love you how you love you. Nobody's gonna respect your hair how you respect you. Like if you don't have self respect, self confidence, nobody's gonna look at you and go, oh hey, you know. Like someone might look at you from a distance, go, oh, hey, you know, you, you're a good-looking person, but they get, they get up close to you, it's gonna push people away because you don't believe in yourself. You don't look you at yourself as somebody beautiful, or even your hair. Like for the longest time, I I've had problems with my hair. Like when it was short, I would hate that it would just stick up. It would just stick up all the time. I wanted to lay down. And then towards the end of it, I started to like how it stood up. And now I can't get it to do that because it just lays down. I can't get my hair to stand up. And even if I did, I would probably look crazy. But, um, but yeah. But that's it, though. But just so be confident in yourself. That's something that you're going to need. That and patience. But self-confidence is key, especially making it through this journey. If you don't believe in yourself, if you don't find beauty in, in yourself and how you feel, nobody else nobody's going to think that it's beautiful. Nobody else going to think that you're beautiful. Or your hair. So that's something you're going to need. But, uh, you know, until next time, you guys, stay locked, be blessed.